Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for the baby names we love or I love, but will not be using. This will be the girl names video. I'm not sure how long it's going to be, so I'm going to break it up. Girl and boy, if you are brand new here, and those of you who have been here the whole time, if you did not catch the gender slip in the last video, then surprise, Luke and I are having a baby girl, which I caught the slip during the editing process. However, I'd already uploaded the video, caught it, and I was not going to go re-edit it, re-upload it. It just was too much work, so I decided to turn off comments and post the reveal on Instagram using a cute little template that I just bought off Etsy for 12 bucks, and it was such an easy reveal. And yeah, so surprise, there's not going to be some major crazy uploaded video that is the reveal we are having a little girl and i'm so so happy um it was not my intention to find out um but i'm honestly kind of glad now that i know and i'm super happy for luke because i know that he really really wanted a little girl so in this list these are names guys that i'm pulling out of my like notepad i feel like most girls on their phone have a list of names of baby names like ask one out of every two girls you pass and I guarantee you they have a list on their phone a lot of these names I was saving for if I ever had another child but this is for sure my last baby so all the names are coming out of secrecy and into this video so if you're curious of all the names I would have used they are here because Luke has vetoed every name that I like because my style is very different if you are a brand new person, I have three children. My oldest daughter's name is Aniston. My second uh, child slash third because they are twins. Um, the oldest is a little girl named Winslet, AKA Winnie. And then my son's name is Rafferty, but he goes by Rafe. So those are my kids' names. A little bit different, but not so crazy that they just sound completely made up. So I'm kind of in the middle of styles between liking surnames slash places as names slash not liking any like top 500 style so this might be a list for you if you are kind of the same way so i'm 17 weeks right now baby has no name not even close we have like two saved that are okay so i'm gonna ask that you guys please comment your favorite unusual baby girl names Please help us name this baby. We have gotten zero places with trying to name it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to hop into the list and let's go. So first off, one of my favorite names of all time. I love this name. It's way more common than it used to be. It is the name Lennon. And the only reason we can't use this name, this is actually one that Luke did not hate. This name literally rhymes with Luke's last name. So we can't use it. And it's tough because like obviously I'm like, okay, great. We like the same name. And then I was like, oh wait, it rhymes with your last name. So unfortunately this one's off, but I love this name. I love the nickname Lenny for a girl. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The second one is Layton. This one was kind of a no-brainer. I loved it, but never brought it up because it is the name of Luke's niece. So obviously seeing them all the time, we can't have Layton and Layton, but obviously this makes me think of Layton Meester and the name itself is beautiful. Plus the way it's spelled, my middle name is Lee, L-E-I-G-H, and Layton's like L-E-I-G-H-T-O-N. I think, is that, is that the most common spelling? I'm not sure. That's the only way that I've ever seen it spelled. Anyways, I think it's gorgeous. If you have a girl, please name her this. It is beautiful. The next one is Way Off Path. And if you are a One Tree Hill fan, this name won't surprise you. I'm pretty sure I've said this name on my channel before, but it is the name Millicent. This was the name of Brooke Davis's, I think, assistant or store manager on One Tree Hill, if you ever watched that show. I just love the name Millie by itself and Millicent to me it sounds like timeless it sounds like an older name but not one that you would hear um I've never personally met a Millicent outside of seeing it on the show and I think it's beautiful I know it's not everyone's style everyone that I say it to is like Millicent but I love the name Millie and Millicent and most likely she would go by Millie but yeah, it was a hard no. Luke said, absolutely not. Like, please don't play with me. <laughs> he thought I was kidding at first. Um, but I love it. Someone use it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The next one was the first or second name that I brought up to Luke. Again, not everyone's cup of tea. 
but I don't know what it is about this name and it's kind of I'm almost kind of embarrassed to say it because I know that most people will not like it um, but it is the name pepper I don't know what it is I love this name I met a little girl several years ago her name was Pepper. She was like blonde hair, blue eyed. She looked a lot like my daughter Winnie. And I don't know if, I just love the name and I really would have a Pepper. If he would have said yes, that would have been her name probably 100%. The next one's uh, different and so gorgeous. You can also get the nickname Millie out of it. So I really like it. I heard this on, um, what's her name? SJ Strum, the baby name like guru channel. She does baby name Mondays on her channel. But I heard it and I was like, yes, I like this. Luke was like, no, it was very quick. He was like, no, I don't like it. But it's the name Romilly. And I think it's so beautiful. I had a friend actually bring this name up to me uh, several weeks after I brought it up. And I'm like, oh, yes, I like it. But he already said no. And so it's one of those names where I feel like Romilly, I could spell it just by hearing it. And so it's not so out there that it's like, what is your name but you can also get millie out of it so i love it and i think it's going to be one of those names that really tops the charts here soon the next name might surprise you it, I, i'm pretty positive this is in the top 10 however it was my dad's mother's name and i just really really love the name it was her middle i'm sorry it's her middle name but her middle name was Lucille. I don't like Lucille necessarily by itself, but I do like Lucy and unfortunately so does everyone else. It's very popular. I want to say for sure top 10. I have to double check that. Um, Lucy I think is gorgeous. I feel like I could see a Lucy as a baby, as like a 8, 9, 10 year old, a teenager. And I feel like I, if I had the name Lucy, I wouldn't feel like it was childish at all. It's one of those names I feel like grows with you as you get older and guys i just love this name obviously i'm biased because it was my grandmother's name but i just think it's beautiful and timeless and it's one of those names that is not going to go out of style i feel like it's going to be one of those roller coaster names where it's high for a while goes down goes back up and i think it's beautiful and i'm really drawn towards names that you get from someone that you loved and cared about or someone that affects your life in certain ways okay the next name that i really really liked was the name baker i know that baker tends to be used more for boys however whenever i hear the name baker for some reason i just picture a female i know there's like a famous ball player i think named baker i want to say maybe a football player um but i picture a female baker it just sounds like cute to the point not so strange it has that last name like surname feel if you like last name as first name type baby names um tried this with luke he's a massive sports fan to the point that it's like astounding the amount of knowledge that he has um so he instantly was like no i'm not a fan of baker and so it was kind of wiped off but this one is super cute to me okay this next name is like my top name like uh, that i just love like pepper's a lot newer to me and so when I first found out I was having a girl, the, these are the two names that came into my mind. Um, Pepper was one of them because I had just heard it. And I'm like, I really just like it. Like, I heard it a long time ago, forgotten about it, reheard it, and I'm like, yes, love that. Um, this name, though, I've loved for a really long time. And I'm so sad I can't use it. I'm like devastated. I'll never get it. But if it was my way and I didn't use Pepper, I would name this baby Story. I've loved that name for a really long time. I know that it's been used like recently. I've seen a couple people pop up using this name for their baby. I know that in the celebrity world, it's quite popular for baby names. And I don't know why I like it. I just thought it would be kind of fitting for this baby because she is just like unexpected, but we are so happy. And like, I don't know, she's, she's ending the chapter of us having children as well. And so I just... I liked the significance of the name. Um, Luke was like, what? <laughs> when he heard it, it was, there was no chance he was ever going to use it. I've tried to like throw it out there and I like walk around being like, oh, baby story. And he's like, quit. That's not going to happen. He's like, I promise you it's not going to happen. So I'm letting it go. I'm super sad about it. But um, again, naming children is such a compromise and we are just such opposite end of the spectrum people. So I won't get this name and I'm devastated. It was like, I've been close to this name for a long time. I've always kept it like in my mind. 
and I love it. So please, if you have a baby, name her Story. I would love to hear about it. I think it is perfect for a name. Okay, last two names, and then I have like some honorable mentions I'll just throw in there. Um, this name I've liked long time. Again, I feel like I get a lot of inspiration from TV shows, and if I see a TV show with a name that I like, I feel like it just kind of embodies that person, and I really like it. But um, this name I heard on the show Charmed back in like the early 2000s. It is the name Prue. I've never met someone named this name, and I'm not a fan of Prudence, like the long version. There's other, a few other names that I've seen. I've like Googled long versions of this name and didn't like any of them. I brought this name up to Luke and he was like, no, it sounds, I think he said it sounded pretentious and I was just like, Ugh, but I really like this name. Um, again, it's not one that he's willing to go for and that's perfectly fine. Um, but I think it's absolutely adorable. I can see Prue as a young child. I can see the Prue as an older child. And I think it's because on the show, you got to see this character kind of young, middle, and older. And so I feel like I can see young versus older with this name. And I think it's beautiful. Like, I've never met one. Like, where are they all at? I know this name exists. Like, it's obviously was on a TV show. There has to be Prue's walking around somewhere. So, again, another name that I absolutely love that I will not be using. Okay, last name of my 10 names. Um, this name I actually really, really love. Again, same thing. Luke didn't like it, but it is the name Gemma. Gemma is another one of those names that I feel like I hear way more often now. Um, so, I, I think I still probably would have used it because it's not something that I hear like on the daily. But I do feel like every couple months I hear this name kind of popping up. And I think it's beautiful. I don't know what it is about this name. I've always thought it was beautiful. I think of someone... Like, in my mind, I picture, like, a beautiful, like, brunette girl. And so, I obviously have no way of knowing if this baby would come out brunette or not. Um, Luke has blonde hair. I have really dark hair naturally. Um, so, I don't know. But I think this name is beautiful. It's one of those names, again, I can see gr growing throughout, um, you know, young to old. It just doesn't seem to me like it's going to go out of style ever. It just seems like a classic name. And I love it. But, again can't use it so here it is sharing that with you guys just some honorable mention names that I really like kind of like liked and thought about for a second maybe threw them out there and he said no nothing serious talked about um the name Gia love the name Gia absolutely beautiful kind of I feel like if I had a Gemma I would call, maybe call her Gia you can kind of get a two for one special kind of with like a buy one get one free kind of with that name I also like the name Mila. I heard Myla at some somewhere at some point and a friend of mine who was going to have a baby or was thinking about it, I'm like, you have to name the baby Myla. And um, so I've brought it up a couple times here and there and I think it's beautiful. I'm not, again, I can't remember where I heard it the first time, but on the baby name list, I want to say it's in the top 500, which is kind of surprising to me. I've never met one, um, but it's one of those names I feel like might be up and coming but not so far out there and I feel like everyone can spell it and so that's another one that I was kind of like oh that's pretty but I don't think I actually would use it and then my last kind of like honorable mention name that I actually really 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 like um that I feel like you can kind of get Millie out of if you wanted to this name has so many like possibilities for nicknames it's the name Emmeline Emmeline is a name that I heard again I think in high school when I was watching Army Wives for the very first time, back when that show was a big deal. And one of the people's, one of the wives' daughters' names was Emmeline. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. You can get Emmy, you can get Emma, you can get Lenny, you can get Millie. There's so many name choices you can get out of it. I know one Emmeline, and it's not spelled that way. It's kind of spelled like Emma Lynn. And again, you can kind of spell it however you want to. I like the traditional like Emmeline. Although some people have told me that it's pronounced Emmeline when you spell it that way. Again, still beautiful and I love it. It's not one that you're gonna hear every day. Um, it is one that I kind of threw out there to Luke. He was not a fan. Um, he just kind of nixed it, you know, for whatever reason or another. But um, again, one that I really, really like won't be used. So yeah. <laughs> that's where we're at we are literally zero places with names i i'm not really feeling like i'm super panicked yet because right now i'm 17 i think i'm 17 weeks today actually and so we have so much time however because we don't agree on any like i said we have two on the list that's like maybes and i look at these names and i'm like 
I don't know if I could actually use these. I feel like we're going to be in the hospital with a list and that's and that's real. Like I truly feel that way. I've always named all of my kids beforehand and so it would be a new experience and then I'm like, what if I get in the hospital and I'm holding her and I'm like, what do I call you? It's honestly kind of a fear in the back of my head that I don't have something significant to call her. I'm 99% sure we do have her middle name um, at my sister's middle name I think we're gonna use for her however Luke kind of goes back and forth on if he's seriously gonna allow that to happen um, because you know he's very involved which is something that's a lot new or for me if we're being honest he's very involved in this process so I'm just like <laughs> it's weird to have to share this responsibility with someone else instead of doing it all on my own so and this is how it's supposed to be I'm fully aware this is how it's supposed to be and so if you have followed my story, you know that this is obviously very new for me, having a partner who's involved. Um, but please, guys, put your names down below. I'm, like, begging you. I <laughs> truly, please put them down below. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I can't wait to find out what we're naming her either. <laughs> I cannot wait to look in the future and or be in the future and know what we ended up deciding for her. Um, but, again, thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.